Okay. I'm back to looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Also, excuse my horrible hair today. I don't, I don't know. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I'm going to dedicate this video to one thing I truly love. The one thing I absolutely love, the band called Water Parks. Yeah, woo! <laughs> so if you don't follow me on social media and you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Diana. I'm 21 and I'm still an emo. I love Water Parks so much. They're one of my favorite bands. I love them to death. Um, it's kind of funny though, like funny story, but not really funny story. Um, they came to Dublin to support All Time Low on their tour, which I was supposed to go to, but I changed my mind last minute. Tickets sold out and I found out the water parks are playing and I was like, <laughs> kill me. They have kind of ruined my life, but like in a good way, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. This band is all I listen to. Like I ha like I do have a bunch of favorite bands, but I have never, like the last time I got super overly excited about a band, to the point where I was like, oh my god, loves of my life, was when I was like 16. So this band, it's very special. <laughs> so basically, um, I always knew who Waterparks were. Like I never listened to them, but like I heard people talk about them and people were like, oh, oh my god, yeah, Waterparks. And I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I didn't really care. Um, it's not until I got this, which is their rock sound um, cover. Um, Roxanne magazine, they're on the cover, you know, that's uh, Jeff, that's Austin, and that's Otto. I bought this magazine because it had stickers in it. <laughs> um, I was like, oh man, cool, they're really cool stickers. I can put them on my laptop because I've always wanted to cover my laptop with stickers, but I could never find really cool ones or whatever. So I was like, cool, I gotta get these. So then I looked at the cover and I was like, man, these dudes look kind of cool. So I read their interview that's in this and I was like, oh, they seem pretty cool, whatever. Um, and then I decided to actually listen to them. So I went on YouTube and I listened to Stupid For You and I was like, okay, I like this. This is like really good. This is cool. And like, that's the one song I listened to for ages. I didn't really check any of their other stuff out for a while because I was kind of like, eh, whatever. I mean, that's a good song, but like, whatever. Little did I know. So then I decided to listen to Crave. That music video was just full of dogs and honestly, that's everything that that video is everything. So I listened to Crave by Waterparks and I really really liked that song. I was like, oh my god, I think this is my favorite song. I love the song so fucking much. So then I sat down and I was like, okay, maybe they're actually pretty damn good. You know, I like these two songs. Let's check them out. So so I went on my laptop. I sat down and I listened to the whole of Double Dare album. This is Double Dare by Waterparks, by the way. This is such a masterpiece. I love this album so fucking much. I listened to it, like from the start to the bottom, like start to finish. I was just sitting there listening to each song and I was like, okay. I listened to it a few more times. At first I was kind of like, mm, okay. I mean, yeah, okay. And I listened to it again and then again. And eventually I fucking fell in love with them. Oh my God, I don't know. I was just kind of like, I really like Waterparks. Okay, wait, no, I really like this song. They ruined my life. <laughs> you have no idea how annoying it is for my boyfriend to constantly listen to me go, oh my God, I love them so much, oh my God. And every time we're literally drive, every time we drive in a car or whatever, I'm like, let's listen to water parks. Like literally, <laughs> he's probably so fucking done with me talking about them. <laughs> I love water parks so much. They are my favorite band. I'm seeing them in March. They're coming to Dublin in March next year. So if you like water parks and you live in Ireland, just a heads up, um, I'm pretty sure there's still tickets left and uh, y'all better go there. Y'all better see them. Y'all are fucking sleeping on um, water parks, by the way. May I say, literally, I am the only person that I know that actually knows them and likes them. So I'm like, y'all are fucking sleeping on them. Y'all need to stop. Before I leave this video, I decided that I'm going to tell you my top favorite water park songs. Now, I love all the water park songs. I think they're all amazing. The only water park song I don't like is Take Her to the Moon. I could never get into that song. I'm really sorry. Uh, we're gonna, there's 11 songs I couldn't choose on top 10 because I suck. 
So there's top 11. Starting at 11, we have Stupid For You, which was the first ever song I heard by them, and it's really good, and the music video is really good, and it's just good. <laughs> then we have 21 Questions at number 10. Kind of reminds me of um, If It Means A Lot To You by Day To Remember, because of like, it's all acoustic, and at the end, all the, like the drums and stuff, everything just joins in, and I'm like, mm, I see what you did there. Then we have Powerless. I love that song so much. It's such a good song. Then we have Made in America, which apparently they didn't, their Made in America tour. Someone told me that that song isn't on the set list. And I'm like, it's literally called Made in America and you're not playing that song. <laughs> what the fuck? Then we have I'm a Natural Blue, which is such a good song. Such a good song and a music video is wild. <laughs> then we have Gloom Boys. I love that song. I have a sign on my, um, well, not a sign. I made this thing on my wall that says Gloom Boys. I love that song so fast freaking much also the music video is pretty damn funny for that song so then we have crave i love that song so much i feel like that is the song that made me check out the rest of their stuff like that song was like bam you need to check out the rest of their stuff <laughs> that song really got me into water parks then we have territory oh this is from their ep uh, that is such a good song. I love it so much. So underrated, so good. <laughs> then we have Mad All The Time. This was my favorite Water Park song. But uh, yeah, I, I do love Mad All The Time. Then we have Blonde. I love Blonde so much. Like honestly, I'm so excited for entertainment to come out because it's so freaking good. When like, <laughs> the second I heard it, I was like, I am in love. <laughs> And then we have Plum Island. Plum Island is my favorite water park song at the moment. It's just so good. I keep listening to it on repeat and repeat and repeat. And it's so damn good. So yeah, um, in case you've never heard of water parks, go check them out. I hope that you have found your new favorite band. <laughs> um, I love them so much. They're so funny. They're just great. And I'm so excited to see them perform. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you listen to water parks. Do you like water parks? Do you not like them? Why? And let me know your favorite songs by them in the comments below. And we're all going to fangirl together. But yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye!